One of these new features is a complete revamp of the notifications panel. With the version 4.0 release, the user has even more flexibility in how live event messages appear, as well as the ability to query the video archives directly from the notifications panel. This new panel is divided into four tabs. Let's take a look. The first tab on the left is the notifications tab. This is where messages generated by the camera's rules engine are displayed. Examples of these messages include motion events, soft triggers, and camera failure messages. The next tab provides a focused view of the motion detection events associated with one or more cameras on the active frame. However, what is really cool about this tab is its ability to search the video archives for motion within a camera scene. We will come back to explore this awesome new feature in a minute. Bookmarks can be placed on a camera's archive during playback or during live monitoring. The Bookmarks tab displays the bookmarks saved for one or more cameras within the active frame. The last tab displays all live and past events generated by the system. The events can be filtered or searched by type, time frame, or camera. So let's go back and explore some of these awesome new features. So I mentioned the Motion tab has a new feature that allows the user to search the video archive for motion within a camera scene. What is cool about this feature is that this function does not require motion detection to be activated on the camera sensor. In this feature, the server is searching the camera scene for changes in that scene. These changes equate to motion. When using the Smart Search feature, the user can focus the search on a portion of the camera scene. Let's say we have a car that has been parked in a loading zone for what appears to be longer than the allowable time. We can use this search feature to figure out when the car arrived and how long it has been in that spot. There are two ways to activate the Smart Search feature. The first way is this little walking man icon in the camera frame. The second method is to select the motion tab in the events window. With the smart search activated, the screen gains a grid overlay. Using the mouse, we can select a portion of the car to designate the smart search area. After a few seconds, the server will begin to return snapshots of events that match the search criteria. Down at the bottom, we can see some events that show the car arriving. Selecting the desired snapshot brings the recorded video into the frame for viewing. The timestamp on the video archive shows the driver arrived around 9.50 this morning, and it's now 12.50, which means he has exceeded the 15-minute limit by a few hours. By adding the Motion tab with Smart Search to the operator window, Incidents can be quickly investigated with just a few clicks of the mouse.